guys, welcome to Wrestling Figure Wednesday. Today I will be reviewing the Mattel WWE Elite Series 39 Sting figure. This is Sting's first modern elite figure and I was really, really excited to get it. I know there's a lot of controversy over his head scan, but it looks much better in person than it did in those early photos. Um, I know this set has been out a little while now. By the time you're seeing this, Elite 40 will probably be out. Um, but I just wanted to get all these reviews out as there are some really cool figures in this set. Um, you could get it at Toys R Us, um, Walmart I think, uh, definitely on ringsidecollectibles.com, Amazon.com, and possibly Target as well. I don't remember if they showed up at Target. Um, but this set has been out a little while now, so check your stores. This figure is really nice and it's awesome to have considering he just got inducted, or will be inducted, I should say, into the Hall of Fame, uh, which is really cool. It's too bad what happened with him and Rollins. Hopefully he will be back uh, on TV soon because for him to join WWE and then get badly injured was really sad. Um, but I did have the privilege of meeting him and he was really quiet around me, but seeing him in his makeup just made me go back to my childhood as he's been a childhood favorite of mine. Uh, so anyway, let's take a look at him in the packaging. As you can see it says highly detailed action figure and there's the Raw logo as it's based on when he debuted on Raw I think or one of the times he was on Raw. Uh, here he is in a standard pose. There's his bat. It says includes trench coat and bat. There's Elite logo and it says Sting on the side. On this side it says Raw Sting and there's a picture of him there. And then on this side, there's the Elite logo, another picture of Sting, this is Ron Sting, slightly different layout. Then looking at the back of the box, there's the Elite logo, a large image of Sting, this is Raw Sting and has a little bit of info about him there. Also in the set is Dolph Ziggler, uh, Damian Mizdell, the Godfather, British Bulldog, and Psycho Sid. And then there's company information at the bottom. So that being said, let's take a look at him fresh out of the packaging. Alright guys, so here we have the Elite 39 Sting figure fresh out of the packaging. Overall I'd say it's a pretty cool figure, he looks really nice. Um, the downside to it is the coat of course because it is rubber and it was actually really hard to get him out of it. And um, I know Mattel can't really afford to make cloth versions of some of their coats like this one, it would be amazing if they could. Um, I don't know. The detail on the coat's nice, but it's okay for display. You can't pose him in it at all, as it is so stiff. And the other downfall to this figure is the shirt. Um, I know he kind of wears shirts more often now. Um, but to make this figure really pop to me, I would have loved to seen him in his full wrestling attire. Um, so swapping that upper torso with like the singlet part. Uh, where you could see his chest and stuff would be awesome. So hopefully they have another one on the way. The detail on the figure is really nice though. Just looking at his gloves and stuff is really cool. Uh, so anyway, let's take a look at his accessories first. So here's his bat. I believe it is the same as the one from the Defining Moments figure, but actually feels and looks like wood as you could see the lines and stuff to make it feel like it was carved out of wood which is pretty cool and uh, it does fit in his hand nicely which if you stick around to the end of the review you can see that it will fit nicely in his right hand and now we'll look at his trench coat so you can see all the cool detail in it it is a thin rubber plastic as you can see you can squeeze it but you see the wrinkles the awesome scorpion designs, like padding designs and everything uh, that they really put into it, which is nice. It's great for display, but you can't pose him really in it at all, which is really unfortunate. Um, but it is a cool little piece to go with him. And then looking at Sting. So here's his first modern head scan, and everybody's freaking out about it, but it looks much better in person, as you can see. All the detail in his face paint, his hair slicked back. It's really cool. His ball jointed head that goes up and down. His hair does not restrict the movement, which is nice. Turn it left and right as well. 
He's got a molded shirt. It's too bad it wasn't a cloth shirt. Um, but it has a scorpion logo on it and there's wrinkles and everything. The collar's molded to make it feel like he's really wearing this shirt. Nothing on the back, just wrinkles and whatnot. It's a typical elite ab crunch joint. It has ball jointed arms that go up and down as well as outward. Swivel, bicep joints, and his sleeves are painted on. It's a typical elite elbow joint. He has his uh, glove wrists are painted on instead of molded. Sometimes like Undertaker and stuff they'll put molded pieces but for Sting they painted it. And it says Sting on each one. It has like the scorpion designs on his hands. And the swivel wrist joint as well as a hand joint that goes up and down and you can put the bat in that hand. And he has a closed fist here. Looking at his lower torso he has a swivel waist joint and he has all the padding on his legs at the scorpion designs which is really cool. Looks really nice. Uh, he has a ball jointed legs that go up and down as well as outward. He has a swivel thigh joint, double jointed knees, and he has a swivel boot joint. And you can see the detail in his boots with the buckles and straps and wrinkles to make them look authentic. And he has a typical ankle joint that goes up and down, but mine are so stiff it won't even cooperate, so just be careful with yours. There you go, that one budged a little bit. And then he has a typical pivot angle joint as well. And yeah, that's Sting. It's a pretty cool figure, it has its flaws of course, but for one of his first elites I think it's not bad. I just hope they make more like this just without the shirt as I think it would look really cool. And we've all wanted a really nice elite uh, Sting figure, let's be honest. So. Hopefully they have more planned out for 2016. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Be sure to like Wrestling Figure Wednesday on Facebook to suggest future views you'd like to see me do. And I'll see you next week. Thanks. Like this video? Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more. And check out my latest videos. For all your wrestling figure needs, check out ringsidecollectibles.com. Want to spice up your wrestling figure arena? Check out extremesets.com. Like wrestling? Tune into The Rack, Thursday nights, 10 p.m. Eastern on wildtalkradio.com.